Hello, it's me, Tallordsum2006, and welcome to another video of mine and the third episode of Logo Reviewing. Today, we'll be reviewing a television logo from the late 80s, Lorimer Television. Logo Reviewing Episode 3 Lorimer Television Lorimer was formed initially as Lorimer Productions on the 1st of February 1969 by Merv Adelson, Erwin Malarski, and producer Lee Rich, who named the company after Adelson's ex wife Lori and San Diego's Palomar Airport. Their first production was the TV movie The Homecoming, based on the book by Earl Hamner. However, their first logo didn't appear until 1971, when the Waltons premiered. Then, on the 21st of April 1986, emerged with Telepictures Corporation, and later became Lorimer Telepictures Corporation, or just simply Lorimer Telepictures. In 1987, the television production companies were then split back in two companies, and Lorimer was reincorporated as Lorimer Television, but Lorimer Telepictures remained as the name for their parent company. On the 12th of January 1989, Warner Communications, which was then Time Warner, which then became Warner Media as of today, acquired Lorimer Telepictures and both distribution arms were folded into Warner Brothers Television Distribution by forming Warner Brothers Domestic Television Distribution and continued producing the surviving TV shows. The Lorimer name was continued until mid-1993 when it was folded into Warner Brothers Television. However, Warner Brothers Television continued producing the remaining programs under its name. With Lorimer's 24-year lifespan between 1969 and 1993, they have given us five different logos, including the Marble logo, aka Laura Marble, the Line of Doom, and LP. Today, we'll be looking at my personal favourite out of the five logos, which is the fourth logo, which was in use in 1988-993, and that is the Marble logo. With that being said, Let's get right into the fourth logo of Lorimer Television. Yep, that's their logo, alright. It's actually really good, even by late 80s television logo standards. And I'm not the only one who thinks that this is a good logo, but it's also a well-respected logo amongst the logo community thanks to the great CGI animation and calm music. As in the editor's note. Now, what do I have to say about this logo? Well, that's a good question, and let me tell you this. To start things off, we have the animation, which looks really great, especially by late 80s standards, and by television logo standards from the time period as well. Because, let's face it, considering that a lot of television logos during the 80s and 90s, what not, including a fair amount of them in the modern days, would tend to use either cheap or simplistic animation, or just no animation at all. Or maybe just be in credit as well, which still links back to being without any animation as well. For Lorima Television, However, the CGI used in this logo is actually really nice, but shouldn't be too much of an exception since Lorimer was a large company, and large companies tend to use a lot of grey animation in their logos, mostly. The text appearance is also really great because the way that Lorimer appears manages to become faithful to who it iconic 1978 Line of Doom logo. 
The music also sounds really nice. While the whoosh is rather startling and can catch viewers off guard, the rest of the music actually sounds really calm and memorable as well. And let's face it, for me personally, I think the colour choice is good as well. Because let's face it, I like marble textures and I think the use of the marble texture in this logo is pretty good. And I think the mix of grey, black, gradient, marble, white and red are actually good contrasts. And in all honesty, let's face it, to link back to the animation, I think the added ripple also makes this logo pretty unique since a lot of logos didn't have that sort of effect. Well, nowadays, they're adding stuff such as ripples to this day. While it would still look unique and interesting, it may also look somewhat kind of cheap and or overused since, well, during the modern days, we're using a heap of other effects and special effects and whatnot. But you have to think, this is from 1988. And logos didn't have that much of ripples that I could think of, really. And this logo is overall a really great logo for those said reasons. Additionally, it should also be noted that there are some other variants as well, such as the ones with the byline, the bright background one, and the warp speed ones. I'll show you some of these variants right now. Overall, I think this logo is really amazing. With fantastic CGI animation that has held up very well over time and nice relaxing music. And out of all of the Lorimer logos that I've seen, this one has to be my favourite. Anyway, I'll end this video right here and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications and we're really close to 500 subscribers. And let me tell you this, I'm getting subscribers so quickly, it's not even funny. And we're almost at 500 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe to me so I can reach 500 subscribers. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.